In this question, we're told that an adult evening class has 14 students. The ages of these students have a mean of 31.2 years and a standard deviation of 7.4 years. A new student who is exactly 42 years old joins the class. We're then asked to calculate the mean and the standard deviation of the 15 students now in the group. Okay, for us to be able to find the new mean and the new standard deviation, we need some of our summary statistics. We're going to need to find the sum of x and the sum of x squared. We're almost going to be undoing the statistics we've been given. Well, x bar and sigma are the statistics we've been given. Let's think of the formula for x bar. Well, that's the sum of x over n. And I've used the subscript x because this is the sample size when there was only 14. If I can substitute the information I know, I can find the sum of x. So the sum of these 14 students is going to be 436.8. So that's the sum of all of their ages added together. I'm going to use a similar thinking for the standard deviation. Well, I know the formula for the standard deviation of this group of 14. It's the sum of x squared over n minus the sum of x over n or squared. Substituting in the values we know because we know the standard deviation and we know the value for n and actually we know the mean. We know the standard deviation and we know the mean. We were given 31.2 but I can write that as a fraction using the sum of x and n. Okay, rearranging from here. I can substitute 31.2 as we knew already. I'm going to square on both sides and then a couple of steps of rearranging to make sum of x squared the subject. So the sum of x squared, after some careful rearranging, 14,394.8. Okay, I needed to know both of those because that was the sum of x and the sum of x squared for the 14 students. We've added a new student. We've added a 15th person. Both of these values are going to increase. I'm going to call this y. So for all of these statistics, we'll focus on y. Well, the new sum of y is going to be the previous total plus the 42. We're including this new student. Altogether, the sum of y, 478.8. The new sum of y squared. OK, well, now I have enough information to find y bar the mean of the 15 students. It's going to be the sum of y divided by n, but this time the n for the 15 students, so 15. So 478.8 divided by 15, and the mean is going to be 31.2. Now, that actually makes sense. My quick sense check is that this person that we've added to the group is older than the mean, so it should increase the mean y bar equals 31.92. We're going to do a similar thing for the sum of y squared. We're going to include the person who was 42. So it's the sum of x squared plus 42 squared. 14,394.8 plus 42 squared gets us 16,158.8. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and calculate the standard deviation for the y values. So the sum of y squared over the n value for y minus the sum of y over n all squared. Substituting in all our new information, 16,158.8 over 15. Subtract 478.8 over 15 squared. And that goes over to our calculator and we get 7.64. So another sense check since the value 42 was more than 7.4 away from the original mean, we should expect the standard deviation to increase, and we've seen that it has increased. This sort of question really tests that you are confident and comfortable with the formula for x bar and for standard deviation, and that you know what it actually means to have the sum of x or the sum of y, the sum of x squared or the sum of y squared.